Hi, my name is Brian Bostrom. I'm a CPA and business advisory professional at Squire & Company in Orem, Utah. We are a full service CPA firm. Uh, we do tax, audit, and business and technology advising and consulting for small and medium sized businesses in different industries all over the country and also have a large team of QuickBooks certified pro advisors in house. We sell, support, customize, and train on QuickBooks Pro Premier Enterprise online and point of sale and we want to help you with your QuickBooks needs. You can reach us at QuickBooks at Squire.com. So this video is for our QuickBooks for Windows users, that's Pro, Premier, and Enterprise, who would like to be able to create invoices, estimates, and sales receipts in the field on their Apple or Android mobile devices, and then have those transactions or documents synced back to their QuickBooks file at the home base, whether that be uh, an office or, or home, or wherever your QuickBooks file is, is sitting. Uh, now this is done with an app called uh, QuickBooks for Windows Mobile Companion. Uh, there used to be another app that did a similar thing uh, called QBooks, but sadly it's no longer available. Um, this app has been a great efficiency tool uh, for our contractor and landscaping clients who have in the past written paper invoices or recorded invoices in the field on some sort of uh, third-party application and then had to come back into QuickBooks at the end of the day or the week or the month uh, or year, wherever it may be, and, and enter those uh, transactions into QuickBooks manually. With this app, they can create the transaction uh, or document once on their mobile device and then have it magically synced back to their QuickBooks file. So huge time saver uh, if, if you can get it to work for you. Uh, now the first thing that you'll need to do is to download the app. Now uh, this app, as I mentioned, is available for both Apple and Android devices. Um, I have an Apple device, so I'll be I'll be showing you that one. Uh, but when you're searching for it, just type in QuickBooks Mobile Companion; it should come up. Um, if you are on an iPad, you'll need to make sure and, and click to be searching for iPhone apps because this is an iPhone app. It will run on your iPad. It'll just be a little bit small, um, but that's fine. So step one is to to download the app onto your device. Don't sign in yet; just download it. Uh, the second step is going to be to set up your QuickBooks file with the Intuit Sync Manager, which is what will connect it to your mobile device. To do that, you'll go here to File and down to Sync. Now, I've already set mine up to Sync, so mine looks a little bit different than yours. Yours will say here, Set up Intuit Sync Manager or something like that, and you will enter an email address. You'll essentially create a Sync Manager account using an email address and and then this QuickBooks file will be tied to that email address so that's step two uh, the next step is going to be to sign into your app so I have the app downloaded now I, I also have a QuickBooks online app and when you're looking for apps in the App Store uh, this QuickBooks online app is is completely different than the QuickBooks mobile companion app though the the uh, icons look the same so make sure you get the mobile companion app which I know is this one down here for me and then we'll need to sign in so I'm gonna sign in using the same email address that I set up my Intuit Sync Manager with um, so I'll use the same credentials there so I'm gonna hide the screen while I sign in real quick okay so I'm in the app now. Now when you sync for the first time, there's going to be a bunch of data that transfers from your QuickBooks file uh, into the mobile app. Um, now what you get is your customer list. Uh, you get estimates, so a list of all your estimates and your invoices and, and your sales receipt history. Um, that will be there. Now in the app you can also create new customers estimates, invoices, and sales receipts. and and that's why you are downloading the app in the first place, I'm sure, is to be able to create these things. Uh, now, you do not have full QuickBooks functionality in this app. All you can do is, is view these things and add these things. So you can't run reports. You can't run a, a profit and loss statement or a balance sheet statement in the app. You can't write checks. Uh, you're limited to these things here. But, uh, but still, that can be a, a huge benefit to you if, if this works for you. So... Uh, let's go through and, 
and do something here. Let's create an estimate. So to create something new, we click on the plus sign here. I'll choose a customer. Uh, let's do Pete Harbin contractor. Uh, now my items also are synced and so the items from my QuickBooks file come through and are available to choose here. Uh, now I'm going to sell him let's say a service. We're going to do installation labor uh, one hour or whatever that unit is for four hundred dollars and that's what my estimate is going to be. So I hit done and uh, one thing to note in the Apple versions of the app is that you do not have jobs. Customers come through but the jobs underneath those customers are not there. So if I were to go back to my QuickBooks file for example and let's look at my customer center under Pete Harbin you see that there are multiple jobs underneath him uh, but I cannot see those jobs in my app here. All I can see is uh, that I have this customer Pete Harbin contractor no jobs so what that means for us is that when we are creating a new estimate to Pete Harbin and one of his jobs uh, it looks like what I had done was undone so let's redo it here okay in the memo line down here I want to put the job so I know that the job for this particular estimate is pinion way so I'll enter that in the memo line and that'll transfer into QuickBooks when I do my sync and so then in QuickBooks I can assign it to the right job so I'm done creating this estimate I'm going to click Save here and if I wanted to I could email the estimate to him or anybody by clicking on this button down here there's an option to email now let's say that I come back a couple weeks later and and uh, this estimate's been approved and Pete Harbin wants to go ahead with it and so I want to invoice him so uh, I can by clicking that same button when I open the estimate I can convert it to an invoice so we're gonna do that now uh, let's say we don't even need to change anything if we needed to add anything to this invoice that wasn't on the estimate we could do so uh, but we'll say it looks good let's make sure that the memo is still down here it is because we're gonna need to know what job to put it to when it comes over into QuickBooks and now I'm going to hit save so I've now created a new invoice uh, this is the number we're going to be looking for that to come into our QuickBooks file. So let's go ahead and sync to our QuickBooks file. So the file is synced periodically, but I'm sure it hasn't synced in the last 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that manually now. So I can go File, Sync, Start Sync Now. And it will take just a few seconds to sync. Let's go look at this invoice again so that we know what we're looking for. It's $400 invoice. Invoice number is web 0000006. Let's hop back to the QuickBooks file when this is done. Okay, the success was, uh, sync was successful. So there are a few different ways that I could look for this. Um, actually, it shows up right here. There it is. There's the number that's the right amount I can open this up and we can see that the invoice is here now remember in the Apple versions of the device the jobs aren't available so that's uh, why we go down here and we look at the memo pinion way and then I can come up into the customer job field and select the appropriate job under that customer and then save it in QuickBooks and now the invoice is there so that is how it works. Uh, one more thing to note is that in this app you cannot currently receive credit card payments from customers using the app uh, but you can use Intuit's Go Payment app to do that if you'd like. Um, and if you'd like help uh, setting that up or more information feel free to reach out to us. So that is it. That's the Windows Mobile Companion. I hope that this video was helpful. 
Uh, if you found it worth watching, please don't forget to hit like below. Thank you.